Hi there, this is Opera Mini 5 Beta on the Nokia N97. This is your back button, your forward button, refresh. This controls your tab browsing, we'll go into that later. This controls your settings, we'll also go into that later. This is your address bar, and this is your Google search. You can also set this to a Wikipedia search. This 3x3 grid here is your speed dials. You can set it to a previously viewed website, or you can enter an address here. You can edit simply by long pressing. When you enter into a text field, an on-screen keyboard pops up. You can of course just use your own Twitter keyboard or keypad if you already got one, and then disable this within settings if you wanted to. Let's go into cheese.com, I've already been there, so when I press C, it suggests it as a previously viewed website. So let's go there. You'll also notice that it loads pretty quickly, much faster than default web browser. You'll notice that the tool at the bottom has disappeared. By default it stays there all the time, but in settings I've changed it so that it disappears when I press somewhere on the screen. You'll also notice that the address bar at the top disappears when I scroll away. And also that I've got connect scrolling. So I can find the link here. Let's go into that. See it loads up pretty quickly. And also you'll notice that when I press back it instantly just switches to the previous page. It doesn't reload it and take up your time. Same for going forward. It just makes navigating much better than the default web browser. Also, if you long press somewhere on the page, you can select text. So I can select text and then copy, search, search with that text. Alternatively, if there's a link, I can open it to a new tab. Do, do that. Now this is in another tab. So this is the website that we open into a new tab. And you can check out your other tabs by just pressing this button. You'll see I've got about 14 or 15 tabs here which is incredible on the N97. You can quickly just switch between tabs. This is uh, my Gmail, it's BBC News, Wikipedia, Mimo.org, Warm World Nokia. You'll notice that there's uh, an animation whereby the moment you press somewhere and select that tab, all the other windows reshuffle to make that the most prominent one. I guess if you have a lot of tabs, it's a little bit more difficult to navigate. So let's click away from them. It's really easy to navigate. You can watch this uh, shuffling, but you don't have to. So let's go into settings. Here you can uh, manage your bookmarks. You can add the bookmark of the current page that you're on. Just organize them in the folders. You can view your history, websites you've previously visited. It's nice that this also has connect scrolling. Save pages. You can save the page you're currently on to view offline later. Like this, it just loads up instantly. Um, this is your actual settings, so you can set it to load your images, the image quality, set it to load for the fastest, mobile view, guess it doesn't need to, just switch everything, switch that off, full screen view, keep that on, landscape, um, it'll uh, render everything in landscape, but if you wanted to just leave that off so you can do things in portrait as well. Font size, I've set it to very small so I can view a lot of um, information at the, at the screen. Um, just going to advance. The thing you're actually going to be wanting to change is inline editing. This is going to turn your on screen keyboard on or off. And the nav bar always visible, so you can hide that toolbar at the bottom um, or always up visible. Um, something else you may want to change is the save page folder, um, although you don't really need to. Opera Mini 5 Beta is a fantastic mobile web browser, although it does have some shortcomings. Firstly, you can't zoom into web pages. 
you have to go into settings, change the font size and then reload the whole web page entirely. Secondly, there's no flash. Some people might want flash, some people might not want flash, but it means for people who got used to browsing YouTube natively in the browser, you can't do that. Supposedly it, uses the, it could use the uh, media player on the phone itself, but when I tried that, to stream the videos, it just crashed, um, just froze and crashed. Um, copy and paste, it has copy and paste, but it only works within the browser itself. You can't copy a block of text and then paste it into a text message or into an email, and you can't um, copy a URL from say another application like another web browser or Gravity and then paste it into the address bar here. And lastly, probably slightly the most annoying is the keyboard. Um, if you've got a physical keyboard, eventually it just doesn't work properly, it'll only use the secondary keys, which means I can't type anything, but instead of pressing D, I'll get a minus, instead of pressing F, I'll get a plus.